Hello friends, this video on wind storms and cyclones part 10 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So let's understand cyclone. So it is a system of closed rotating winds around a low pressure area. So in this picture, the image which you can see in the picture that is actually trying to depict how a cyclone looks like. So it is nothing but these are the winds. But just that the winds are moving with very, very high speed and the winds are moving in rotational motion. They are moving in this fashion in the form of a spiral around the center and that center is a low pressure area. Anyways, we know that high speed winds will always be accompanied by low pressure low air pressure so that the same thing happens here the, at the center is a low pressure area and around that center these winds are like very uh, rotating at a very high speed so that's cyclone now since the winds are rotating with this much of high speed so the winds have they they have the strength to cause even more damage so that is why cyclone turns out to be very deadly so let us look at the formation of cyclone. How is a cyclone formed? So before I talk about the process of cyclone formation, let me ask you a very simple question. What are clouds? The clouds which you see on the sky, which later uh, result in rainfall. What are clouds? Clouds are nothing but water vapor, right? Now, think of another uh, simple concept. Now when water changes to water vapor, what do you need to do in order to change water to water vapor? You need to heat the water. So when you heat water, it changes to water vapor. So basically we need to provide heat. So heat is required to be given in order to change water into water vapor. Now what should happen when the reverse is taking place? So if you want water vapor to get converted into water, so in that case, what should happen? So it is something like, if you are giving money, if you are paying money in order to buy a stuff, what should you do in order to sell a thing? So when you want to sell a thing, you are not going to give money or you are not going to give payment. You are going to take the money, correct? So the similar thing here. So from water to water vapor, we need to provide it. But when we want water vapor to water conversion, so at that time, heat will be released, right? So during cyclone also, a similar thing happens. Now, the water vapor, which are nothing but clouds, they get converted to liquid water during thunderstorm, right? As I said, the thunderstorm is accompanied by rainfall. So during rainfall, the clouds, that is the water vapor, gets converted into liquid water. So as per our simple concept, that during this conversion, what should happen? Heat should be released and that also happens here. So in nature also heat is released. So where is this heat released? So this heat is released in the atmosphere. So when this heat is released in the atmosphere, what is the heat doing? The heat will warm up the air in the atmosphere, correct? So when you are releasing heat in the atmosphere, the air in the atmosphere will get heated up. And what happens when air gets heated up? So the air gets heat it up and when the air heats up it expands it becomes lighter and therefore the warm air will start rising up so the air is warmed up and that warm air rises up now as the warm air rises up what's happening there is a movement of air involved right so that is nothing but wind so the warm air is rising up as a result pressure will decrease because whenever there is movement of air that means the initially the air was not moving now the air is moving so basically the wind speed increased so it has to be accompanied by a decrease in pressure so as the warm air rises up a low pressure area is formed and due to this pressure drop what happens so basically now you have a low pressure area at one point and everywhere else is high pressure area. So what will happen? All the air from the high pressure area will try to move towards the low pressure area. So more and more air will rush towards the low pressure area. Right? So let's say if this is the low pressure area that has been created. So 
air from all the high pressure areas will try to come towards this low pressure area because I said air always moves from a region of higher pressure towards a region of lower pressure. So as a result, more and more cool air will converge towards the center. And what is this center? Center is nothing but the low pressure area that becomes a kind of center. So all the air starts coming near it. So that's how it happens. So if you look at it, this is how it looks. This is the side view of the cyclone. But when you have a look at it from the top, you will see that there is a center. So inside is like a hollow and that hollow inside is nothing but the low pressure area. And around that low pressure area, you have these winds which are like in, in a spiral fashion, in a rotating fashion, they are moving with very high speeds. So this is how a cyclone is formed. So the net result of this entire process is that high speed winds revolve around the low pressure center. So high speed winds revolving around the low pressure center. So that's the cyclone. So you understood it. It's nothing. It, it is not a special phenomenon that happened. The same thunderstorms. So when during thunderstorms, if there is too much of rainfall, so when there is so much of rainfall, the more rainfall means more conversion of water vapor to liquid water. So more heat is released. So more air is warmed up. So warm air will rise up and low pressure area will be created. And creation of low pressure area is an indication of the start of cyclone. So that's how cyclone happens. So here you can see the, here the arrow is, indicates the central part which is the low pressure area. So this is about the formation of a cyclone. So when you look at it from the top view, so you can see the center here and this center is the low pressure area. And just immediately after the low pressure area, you have that region where uh, there are extremely fast moving winds which are rotating around the center. So here you can see the picture of a real cyclone and this is how a cyclone looks near an ice land. So where you have ice and snow everywhere. So there also cyclone happens and this is how it looks. So see it, it gives you a clearer picture of how a center has been created and around the center the, the like winds are revolving at very high speeds. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.